Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Get involved, should we take action? Well, no, uh, no, we can't. It's out of my hands. Take it up with military command. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you're not coming. Step aside, citizen. This establishment is closed until further notice.
access key card in the You go. go. Got it. Negative, we're good. Thank you. Hey there. At ease, soldier.
private? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. What's the situation on street level? Chanting, flag waving. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Massage expert Connie Engstrom report at the reception desk. That was Connie Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Not my scene tonight, no siree. So, do we have an understanding? Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrecy. And you don't have orders. Look, that's what I'm
love this job, don't you? Do I know you? What the? Yeah, yeah, you. You know this fella? What's his problem, really? You. Yeah, you. Hey, you! Let me see your face! Yeah! Don't let me see... Say what? You want to be a bit more careful, more careful sir? sir? Come on. That's all. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Six small screws and five sort of smaller screws. Five. Happy right? Okay. Hi there. Sorry, but I need to check if you were carrying anything illegal or dangerous. Silhouette guy will walk me through it. There he is. So, one, two, assembly. Right. <clears throat> okay. Naked guy. Massage expert Connie Angstrom report at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk.
Yes, hello. This is... Well, I'm calling from the Swedish consulate in Marrakesh. You people stole the... Miss Pearson called in uh, a third Has he arrived? Not my field. Sorry. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I don't, no. well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald. It is. Believe me. Yeah. No. Do not put me on hold. Oh. Huh. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a lung full of sweet, sweet nicotine right about now. Uh, yes, I'm still here, and I'm still not doing it. Forget about the angry mob. Okay, do you know who this Strandberg guy is? Huh, Donald? Do you? He's a wanted fugitive. He's like the Prince of Fiscal Darkness. I'm not performing with these hands on the likes of him. It's bad, bad karma, karma. Donald. I mean, I mean what, what if, if I, I lost my golden touch, touch as a result, hmm? Then what would I do with myself? Not <laughs> you will not kill me. Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Mr. Engstrom, please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. I'm going to have to search you, sir. Sir, there's room for everyone here. Is that 
that you, Connie? What happened to your beautiful hair? Connie? Mr. Engstrom, how are you today? You wouldn't have any weapons on you, sir. No weapons allowed here, I'm afraid. Do you spread your legs a little more? Thanks. All right, good job, sir. Thank you. The man with the golden touch? Well, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. You shaved your head, Connie? Well, uh... Mr. Hey, you shaved your head, Connie?
snail soup. So Mr. Angstrom, you are not cleared here, sir. Sorry. Please don't make a scene. Hey, who are you? Hey, I am serious! Snail me! Snail me! No bones! Snail me! Hello, come in! Massage guy! Mr. Engstrom. Hello, come in. Come in. I can see you have an eye. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Sir, this is a restricted area. You're gonna have to move away. Thank you. Very okay. charming. You have a good day, sir. Mr. Engstrom, how are you? Spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Jeez, what does General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. Brought. I need a Fair massage theory. too, man. Who's they gonna complain to? <laughs> Us? Look, if they do find out you and me are at the far bottom of the very long list, now, I'd worry less about my school dawn and more about the guy who sees our wings. Ah, yeah. We could be hanged as a traitor. I thought about that scenario for a minute. Nice. It may take a while. Come back 
back in uh, ten minutes. Salam alaikum. You want a lamp? These are dark times. Excuse no? you. Let in some luck. What about a nice new lamp? Oh, will you look at this pretty stuff? Oh my God! I don't care if my husband does have a dog. Ah, yes, the thing. Lamp right onto the flame. Really enjoyed it. So now, uh, let's get some saffron threads, anise, and some coarse salt. Yeah. New hairstyle, no. Connie? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wise choice. Yeah. I'll come back in five minutes. I'll pack this all up for you. Meanwhile, you know, have a look around. Yeah. Love the relaxed look, mister. Put on some real shoes, please. I would never have a guy massage me. No offense, man. Jeez. Left on the second shelf. It reminds me of a beautiful memory I had from my childhood. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you all about it sometime. Oh, what a fine choice. Let me send my assistant to the stock room. Please, it will only take ten minutes. Have a look around in the meantime. A joke, right? Put on some real shoes, please. Not that bad. Come on. You don't like anything. Okay, really? Like, really, really? Can't trust those Crystal Dawn rebels. Soldiers back at the school. I've heard them talking. They have big crystal dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. Jesus. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not it. You, me, 
right here, right now? Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up, and somebody will. Salam alaikum. You want a lamp? These are dark times, no? Let in some light, I say. Hey, printer. Come closer. Our colorful lamps are the best in Morocco. Come closer. Hey, tell Michael in the print shop to stop texting my girlfriend. About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Yo, what's up, print boy? Push me again and see what happens. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they're close. So, uh, what do you do? That reminds me, I need more business cards. Turn 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what do you do? Prisoner. Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says he has a trade on its all there is to it. Attention everyone! That is General Reza Zaydan. So Keep the crystal dawner on everyone's lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks. Not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. What? Hey, hey, hold it. What are you doing here? Who does this guy think he is? You know him? Oh, yeah, that's right. You go hide, you big pussy cat. man attitude. Deep booming voices. Chest hair, right? Come on. 
Everyone knows Zayden is just an upper-class fop. His dad was Secretary of State, and his family's practically royalty. The only way this guy was not gonna become general was if he took a dump on the flag. Oh, you're preaching to the choir, man. I tell ya, I don't care what anyone says. That Zayden is not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. You got that right. Huh? I mean, sure, Zayden does date Command, some uniform, how do you read? Him Over. That. I just and they sure seem to flock around him with his chiseled Omar Sharif jaw. Do you huh? see that model he's dating? Lead from the front kind of guy. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. You don't think? I don't know. We're kind of using your outdoor. Me? Morning in. Someone's causing trouble. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. 
make it a deep one, is none of you are safe anymore.